you turn on to your front. With your face. You turn on to your front with your face turned to one side and lift your head. And draw the knee of the side you're facing to the side and pay attention to the sensations in your back. You'll find as you draw the leg up that you're going to feel sensations change as you slide your leg. You locate a position that feels the least comfortable. That's where you'll get the most benefit. And place the foot against the other leg. And then lower your head. With the same side arm as the bent knee, you press down with your hand and elbow and slide. Locate a position in your chest that feels the least comfortable. So you press the elbow and hand down and then slide. You go either direction, just locate a position of interest. And make your other arm feel the same way. We begin by pressing down the knee and ankle of the bent knee side. In effect, pressing the inner calf down. And locate where your hip joint is on that side. The way you locate it is by alternately pressing and releasing and feeling where the flex point is, where your leg plugs into your pelvis. Once you've located that, that's going to be the third point of reference. Now, press the knee and ankle of the bent knee side. Feel the hip joint of that same side and feel the other side of the hip in front press down into the surface. Do a series of press and relax, connecting the ankle, knee, and hip of the bent knee side each time you press. The way you connect is by feeling each place distinctly so that you can feel all three places when you press. Feel how the pelvis turns. Complete what you're doing. Bring your attention to the straight leg. Tighten the sole of the foot as if you were holding a ball with your toes. Point the toes and tighten the calf. Straighten the knee and feel the front of the thigh tighten and tighten the buttock. With the leg thus contracted, reach the whole leg by tightening the opposite side waist. Feel where in your waist you tighten. Slowly relax. And do a series of repetitions, starting with the foot, calf, front of the thigh, buttock, and reach. Opposite side waist to contract. Do three total.
and complete what you're doing. Bring your attention to the bent knee side. Press the inner calf, ankle, knee, and locate the hip joint. Hold. Switch to the straight leg. Tighten the sole of the foot. Calf. Front of the thigh. Buttock. And reach. We just combine two actions. And slowly melt. Bend the knee side. Press the inner calf. Ankle. Knee. Locate the hip joint. Straight leg. Sole of the foot. Calf. Front of the thigh. Buttock. And reach. Equalize the two efforts so that they help each other. Do a series of two more that way. Make the two actions help each other. And complete what you're doing. Bring your attention to the arm opposite the bent knee. Press the wrist and the elbow. Locate the shoulder joint. Relax and repeat two more times. Wrist, elbow, shoulder joint, a triangle. and complete what you're doing. Now you're going to alternate between that arm and shoulder and the bent knee side leg and hip. You will contract one, then switch and contract the other, and switch back and alternate, passing the tension back and forth between the arm and shoulder of one side and the bent knee leg of the other side. Do that now, starting with the bent knee leg. Press the inner calf, ankle, knee. Locate the hip joint and feel the triangle of ankle, knee, and hip. Hold. Now press the opposite side wrist, elbow, and locate the shoulder joint. Feel the triangle. Relax the opposite side leg. Now recontract the bent knee leg. Feel the hip joint. And relax the opposite side arm and shoulder. Now switch again. Relax the leg and press the opposite side arm and shoulder. And now press the opposite side bent knee leg and relax the arm and shoulder. Feel how the tension passes back and forth between the two.
complete what you're doing. Your next step is to contract the bent knee leg and the arm and shoulder simultaneously and equalize them. When you equalize them, you then do the straight leg action, reaching and relaxing, keeping the leg tight at foot, calf, thigh, and buttock. Do that now. Start with the bent knee leg, press down. Ankle, knee, hip, and hold. Press the opposite side, wrist, elbow, and locate the shoulder joint. Equalize the two down pressures by alternating between them, making them closer and closer to each other in force. When they're equal, go to the straight leg, tighten the sole, calf, front of the thigh, and buttock. While maintaining the pressures of the bent arm and leg, reach and relax the reach of the straight leg by tightening the opposite side waist. Keep the actions of the bent knee leg and opposite arm constant so you feel the triangles as you reach and relax the straight leg. Do a few passings back and forth. And complete what you're doing. Last movement element. While pressing down the wrist, elbow, and shoulder, lift the wrist and the elbow of the opposite side so the two movements help each other. Do two passes that way, two repetitions. and complete what you're doing. The bent knee leg, press the inner calf down. Locate ankle, knee, and hip. Keep the action. The opposite side arm, press the wrist, elbow, and locate the shoulder. Connect those two actions. Lift the opposite side arm, wrist, and elbow to help the side push down. While doing that, reach the straight leg. Do a series of reach and relax of the straight leg. Complete what you're doing. Next action. Straighten your legs. Lift your head and turn the other way. Stay lifted and draw the other knee to the side. Slide the foot along the straight leg. Slide back and forth and locate a working position based on an interesting sensation that shows up in your buttock or back. When you've found it, melt your head down and that will be your working position. First action, the bent knee. Lift the bent knee and ankle slightly by tightening the buttock of the bent knee. 
doesn't matter how high off the table or surface you come. It's just the action of connecting. Try squeezing the crack of your buttocks together to help lift. Now you won't be coming very high at all. You may just feel a decrease of pressure. Come to rest. Having rehearsed that action, bring your attention to the arm of the same side as the bent knee. By pressing down with wrist and elbow, help the bent knee and ankle to lift. You'll feel a twist action go through your trunk. Do a series of pressing the arm to help the bent, neck, bent knee leg lift. Intend to feel both the ankle and knee decrease pressure on the surface. Feel the ridge of the hip bone in front come closer to the surface as you lift the knee. Then come to rest. Bring your attention to the straight leg. Tighten the sole of the foot gently, the calf front of the thigh and buttock. Reach by tightening the opposite side waist and do three all together. come to rest. Attention now to the bent knee side. Press the wrist and elbow of that side and locate the shoulder joint. Lift the bent knee and ankle and locate the back of the hip joint. Combine the two actions so they help each other. Relax and repeat two more times. With your next repetition, hold the action of pressing the arm and lifting the knee and ankle, and add the straight leg action, sole of the foot, calf, front of the thigh and buttock, and reach. Combine those actions. And do two more that way. come to rest. The next action is to lift the opposite side arm to help the down pushing arm. We start with the down pushing arm. Press at wrist and elbow. Locate the shoulder joint. Lift the bent knee and ankle. Lift the opposite side, wrist and elbow, to help the down push. And reach the straight leg, foot, calf, thigh, and buttock. 
feel how they all combine, and do three total. and complete what you're doing. When complete, turn on to your back and feel the effect. Compare your left and right sides. Notice any differences. When ready, turn onto your front again. And switch sides. You lift your head and draw the knee of the side that your face is facing to the side with the foot against the other leg. Slide back and forth and locate a good working position by an interesting sensation in your back or buttock. Pressing down 